Good morning, students. Hope you are fine there. In our previous classes, we were discussed about our new sector, new segment or new sector, new academic syllabus that is healthcare. Okay. We were discussed the, uh, the important terms regarding with the healthcare, especially our body. Okay. Previous class we have discussed uh, the important term. One of the what is the one of the important terms is anatomy. Anatomy, the categories of anatomy, the physiology, importance of physiology. Oh, uh, then we have discussed uh, the important terminologies used in the field of anatomy or in the field of med medical field. Okay. Then general notions we were discussed. Okay. These are the previous class. We were, these are the important topics we were discussed in our previous class. Okay. Today we are going to discuss the continuation of our previous class. Okay. In our previous class we were discussed the uh, human body. Okay. Now we are going to study, going to discuss about the composition of body. Okay, what are the composition of body? Because of that, the 
there will be a waste product. Okay, so that is carbon dioxide. So every cell receives oxygen from the bloodstream and release carbon dioxide due to the activities that happens in the cell. That release carbon dioxide due to the bloodstream. Okay. The first function of the cell is respiration. Okay. Is it clear? Then ingestion and assimilation. Ingestion and assimilation. First function, respiration. Second, ingestion. Irritability and 
unfortunately that particular topic that is coordination is deleted from your syllabus okay cells are able to receive stimulus for example stimulus force muscle to, con to contract or relax if we touch a uh, fire automatically we take our hand or any part we what we touch or what we contact with the fire or uh, ice okay. immediately we take our hand or body parts okay what why this happened this is this is for oh, this is happened only because of muscle contraction okay so cells a uh, body cells are in capable or able to receive stimulus for example for example stimulus causes a muscle to contract or relax stimulus causes a muscle to contract or relax then metabolism metabolism
byproduct or waste product. Okay, that byproduct is released into the bloodstream. Okay, cells receive oxygen from the bloodstream and release carbon dioxide. Receive oxygen and release release carbon dioxide to the bloodstream. Okay, next injection and assimilation. Injection and assimilation. Cells are able to select chemicals from the surrounding fluid for their structure. Chemicals can ingest chemic uh, sorry cells can ingest chemicals from the surrounding fluid for the maintenance of the structure. Okay. Then growth and repair. Cells can synthesize new cytoplasm. Cells can synthesize new cytoplasm so the growth can occur and repair also. Okay, cells can synthesize new cytoplasm so the growth can occur there. And cells can repair the bone. Okay. Next we come. Excretion. 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 We discussed the cells are able to entire cell have metabolic activities as a result there will be a product by product okay so excretion waste products are eliminated into surrounding tissues waste products are eliminated into surrounding tissues tissue we know that a group of cells having same function okay from every cells the waste products are eliminated into the surrounding tissue to be transported to the blood to be transported to the blood for eliminating via organs okay cells the waste products are eliminated from the cell to the surrounding tissue that to be transported to the blood stream via organs okay by this way the waste products are eliminated from the from every cell then comes irritability and activity. Irritability and activity. Cells are able to respond to stimuli. Cells are able to respond to stimuli. Any kinds of stimulus. Okay. Cells are able to respond to stimulus. For example, a stimulus causes a muscle to contract or relax. Cells, for example, example, for example, stimulus cause stimulus cause a muscle to contract or relax. Okay, stimulus cause a muscle to contract to contract or relax. Okay. Then metabolism. Metabolism. Cells are able to break down and use substances from food. Cells are able to break down and use substances from food as fuel. Food act as a fuel. Each cells are able to respond, able to break down the substances from the food. Okay. And it uses as a fuel. Okay. Then reproduction. Cells are reproduced by simple division. Cells are reproduced by simple division. But some cells cannot be regenerated if once it will be replaced. For example, the central nerve system consisting of nerve cells. Okay. These are the functions of cells. What are they? Respiration, ingestion and assimilation, growth and repair, growth and repair, excretion, irritability and activity, then metabolism and reproduction. Okay, is it clear?
tissues. Issues are the group of common cells having the same function to perform. Mainly, there are four kinds of tissues. They are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, and nerve tissue, and muscle tissue. Cover the body. That 
tissue that cover the entire body surface and lines its cavities the tissue that cover the body surface and lines its cavities is called it is termed as epithelial tissue the tissue that cover the body body surface that cover the body surface and lines its cavities some specialized to form glands some epithelial cells are specialized to form glands okay the next we are going to discussing what are the important functions of epithelial tissue we know that epithelial tissue are the surface tissue or that tissue that cover the surface and line its cavities okay next some epithelial tissues are specialized to form peculiar glands okay they are specialized to form peculiar glands okay the functions of epithelial epithelial tissues are first one protection the first uh, the functions of epithelial tissue are protection 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 for the so for the body protection absorption then secretion protection absorption secretion excretion surface transport and the reception of sensory information like touch heat cold pain etc okay these are the functions of epithelial tissue what are the functions of epithelial tissue protection absorption secretion protection absorption yes secretion excretion okay surface transport and reception uh, reception of sensory information reception of sensory informations like touch then heat cold pain etc okay what are the functions first one protection for more reference just just read your ninth standard ninth standard uh, ninth okay ninth standard biology question okay you have to ask the title of tissue okay the epithelial tissue the functions of epithelial tissue include protection absorption secretion secretion protection absorption secretion yes excretion 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 sensory reception reception of sensory information surface transport surface transport surface transport excretion surface transport reception of sensory information reception reception of sensory information reception of sensory information these are the main functions of epithelial cells so what is epithelial cells the tissue that cover the surface of the body and and line its cavities okay some specialized to for gland to, uh, some epithelial cells are specialized to to form glands the important functions of epithelial tissue include protection absorption secretion excretion surface transport and reception of sensory sensory information like uh, like cold heat touch etc okay sensory information reception of sensory information like touch heat cold by etc okay
Next one. A gland is one or more epithelial cells specialized to produce and discharge substances. What is a gland? We were discussed the endocrine gland and exocrine gland in your previous uh, previous lower classes. Okay, especially in uh, eighth standard. Okay, what is gland? A gland is one or more epithelial cells specialized to produce and discharge substances. Glands are a gland is a specialized one. Gland is a specialized one to produce to produce and discharge substances. What are the substances from gland? Yes, that is hormone. Hormone. Okay. There mainly there are two kinds of gland that is endocrine glands and exocrine gland. Endocrine gland and exocrine gland. Okay. What, is the, what are the differences between endocrine gland and exocrine gland? Endocrine gland have no duct or tubes or any peculiar channel to discharge their secretions. Okay. Endocrine glands Endocrine gland have no duct, have no duct or tubes and secrete hormone directly in the bloodstream. Endocrine glands, glands are mainly two types. Glands. Endocrine. Tissue, connective tissue, nerve tissue, and muscle tissue. Okay, first 
one epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is a surface lining tissue. Some tissues are specialized to form glands. Okay. What are the functions of epithelial cells? Protection, absorption, excretion, secretion. Okay. Uh, surface transport and reception of sensory. Reception of sensory information like touch, heat, cold, etc. Then we will discuss the glands. Glands are a gland is one or more epithelial cells specialized to form, specialized to discharge substances like hormones. Glands are mainly two types: endocrine gland and exocrine gland. Endocrine gland is a gland uh, that have no proper channel or proper duct to release their secretions. So they directly secrete their secretion, directly release their secretion into the bloodstream and blood carry the hormones into the tartar side. Okay, exocrine gland that have a proper channel or proper way to release their secretion. Okay. Example salivary gland. Example for endocrine gland is thyroid gland. Okay, is it clear? So students keep studying. See you next class. Okay.